for the main event of the evening. This fighter is 25 years of age. He weighed in today at 74.3 kilograms. He fights out of the Home Valley Black Belt Academy and has a K1 record of three wins and one loss. In the red corner, Danny Van Damme. This is it guys, the main event at Nico Fight Night 8. It's for the title, it's for the Nico Fight Night weatherweight title. Welterweight title. We've got T. Corley defending against the new challenger, Danny Van Damme Jax, out of the Home Valley Black Belt Academy. The fight scheduled for five two-minute rounds. It's a K1 rules event at 77 kilograms. Commentating tonight, you got myself, Wayne McKenna, and joining me live and direct at ringside, Harry Stroke. This is it, Harry. Good evening. Get ready for somebody to throw down. This is going to be some powerful, powerful action. Straight away. Corey with the knees. Returned by Jax. These guys just look like they're built for power. That's it, they're in trim. Both guys. Some nice head movement from Jax. Yeah, Jax Corey is, putting on the pressure. Jax is putting his head scarily low, which I don't like. So we don't need to take one of them knees. That's it. It's good for boxing, but not for K1. Jax counters with a big right hook that lands. Head kick attempted from Corey. Pressure coming back from Jax. We've got five rounds to go, guys. I think we needed a bigger ring. Over on from Jax. Spinning hook kick from Jax. Wow. Jax, the local guy, fighting out of Home Valley Black Academy. Yeah, good low kick there. Lovely leg kick by T. Corai, our reigning champion. Big power punches. Let's see some clean moves, guys. This fight could end in any second. Oh, All these strike. punches are just brutal. Gum shield's out. Catch your gum shield, win the goldfish. Inside the first round. Big hooks from Jax. Yeah, good hooks from Jax there. Uppercut from Jax, pressure from Corai. Nice leg kick. Yeah, that was big foot in that. Attempted spinning back kick from Jax. They call him Jax Van Dam. And hooks. Yeah, big reaching left hook there. Now only missing. Jax, of course, took this fight on one week's notice. I think you can see, or you'll agree, that uh, he must be in shape already. Yeah, that's it. You can see these guys eat, sleep and breathe for the fitness. I know T. Corai, he's got a real, you know, he puts himself under a great regime of uh, really good diet, really good exercise, mental attitude. Uh, fights out of the Viper Mai Tai camp over in Liverpool. Uh, also associated with um, Team Hansen over in Huddersfield. Our very own Jay Hansen. So Tony Sykes, really, really experienced fighter from Huddersfield, one of the, uh, the guys coach more kids in karate than you'll know. Um, great guy, both fighters, couple of the nicest guys you'll meet, they can both bang. If we look at the records, Danny Van Dam has got a record of three, three wins, one loss. T, Zulu Warrior Korai, big record, seven wins, one loss. Danny Walsh, our referee for the evening, judges, We've got Joel Clayton, Michael Ryan, and Dave Mitch Mitchell. We're on. Round two, let's see what we got. Jax, Jax with some power moves, power combinations. Yeah, Jack starting with a big shot. Side kick. Big leg kick from Corai. Yeah. Knee strike. Big leg kick, fold it up with body punches. Get a big knee to the body. This is it. Remember, we've got a belt on the line. Side kick. Love him. Kick, then now he misses with the right straight. 
Corey has got some heavy low kicks. Nice exchange of punches. Both guys got a strong chin. Yeah, both got a strong chin, but narrowly missing the perfect shot. I think either of them, or either of these guys, has enough power to just knock each other out clean easy. Good body shot. That's it. Body kick, but it got caught. And good control from Korai. You can deliver one punch after you've caught a leg in K1 rules that we adopt here. Big right hand by Jax. They're connecting. I tell you what. Someone's going to go down with one of these. <laughs> so much power in these punches. Knee strike. In the clinch. Exchanging these hooks. Jax just took some big shots. He's covering up, but he's took some big ones. He's going backwards against the ropes. He needs to be careful to avoid the knees. Superman from Jax. Superman punch. Corey looking to clinch. Jumping knee from Jax. Jax Van Dam. Oh, massive, massive punch from Corey. That's it, second round down. Another explosive round of power by both guys. That's it, both these guys can bring it. And we've still got three rounds, or potentially three rounds left. That's it, the championship gonna, round. There's gonna be some sore heads in the morning if this is five rounds. Another standard round and two championship rounds. The words of wisdom. Gia Hansen. Giving some advice to T. We've got Jacob Sykes, the world points fighting champion. Say that again, world champion in the corner over there. We have Tony Sykes fighting out the home valley, Black Dot Academy. Big respect for that team. A lot of love for both these teams. Let's see if Jack comes out with that explosive power again, like uh, the start of round two. Fight is showing respect into round three. This is it, Harry. We're on. Yeah, again, straight back in. With the uppercuts and straights. Now it's Corai covering up. Oh, rock and shock him. Oh my god. Tour, tour. Let's have it. Now then. This is where it's about, guys. Tour to tour business. Some massive shots. Boom. Oh my word. The champion Corai has taken some huge shots, but he's not taking a backward step. Rather than covering up, he fought his way back out. Oh, and it looks as if Jax damaged his shoulder. Yeah, definitely overextended on his shoulder there. Such a pity after amazing rounds. Yeah, I don't think that was a, a damage sustained from the fight. I think he uh, caused that one himself with an overextension on that shoulder. Yeah. Such a pity, but the... Uh, Damn, that is unfortunate if that's the case. The paramedics are in, but I don't think he's going to recover from that. We've got a full team of paramedics here at Nico Fight Night, as always. Keeping everyone safe, make sure everyone goes home safe and happy. Oh, such a pity. That's it. Wow. T. Corai returns, retains the championship belt. So unfortunate. So unfortunate for Danny Van, Van Dam Jacks. Such a great fight. I can only hope that, uh, obviously, Van Dam Jax is okay and it's only a superficial injury that's going to be okay. And yeah. then he returns back to Nico fight night because that were, that would turn out to be a fantastic fight. That's it. He's took that on a week's notice. Can you imagine if he went through a fight camp? No. <laughs> I don't think we can. Damn. Big respect, big respect to our champion T. Corai. He takes our belt home yet again. Ladies and gentlemen, what a way to end another fantastic Nico fight night in association with Left Jack Promotions. And unfortunately, with Danny Van Dam Jacks, and they will continue in round number three. And your winner, and still Nico fight night, what a way champion, T Zulu Warrior Karai! But please, please, please put your hands together for an absolutely outstanding fighter who stepped in with only five days' notice. Let's see this happen again.
Put your hands together for both amazing fighters.